Welcome to the next part of Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. This is part three, and we're going to figure out why Phoenix had suddenly just objected. Wha- what is it? What? What's come over me? Without thinking, I just blurted out objection. And yelled it at the top of my lungs, finger outstretched, ready to take on my opponent. What a rush! Detective Gum, Detective Gumshoe. Y you talking to me, pal? Yeah, there's only one detective and only one guy named Gumshoe, like on the planet. Please state the defendant's name for me. What are you trying to prove with this futile exercise, Mr. Wright? You'll see. This is a very crucial line of questioning. Actually, Mr. Payne, can you can answer the defendant's name, if you please. Well, where is this ridiculous question coming from? The defendant's name is, uh, is, uh, Maggie Bird. I think someone needs to check the court record. What? It says right here that it's Maggie Bird. Ah! It looks like the bird caught the cat napping. What's going on? What's going on here? I have no idea either, sir. As you can see, the victim didn't leave, leave a name, Maggie. However, the defendant's name is actually spelled Maggie. This is a blatant contradiction of facts. Oh, how about that? I hadn't even noticed. But, 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 but maybe the victim didn't know how to spell her name correctly. May I remind you that it was you who said the defendant is accused of killing her lover. If that were if they were truly lovers, it would be impossible for him to not have known her name. No. Smack. This is very true, Mr. Payne. Y yes, Your Honor. <clears throat> Are you absolutely certain the defendant and the and the victim Dustin Prince were indeed fact lovers? Y yes, I'm quite certain, Your Honor. They were a well-known couple in the police force. Detec Detective Gumshoe. Please testify for the court the relationship between the victim and the defendant. Yes, sir. Dustin and Maggie. Officer Prince and Officer Bird have been going out for about half a year. It sounded like they are even talking about marriage. The day of the incident just happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. Maggie, I mean Officer Bird, had gone Officer Prince a present. It was something she'd gotten over two months ago. I should know, because she came to me to ask what I should get for him. What she should get for him. Oh, those two sounded like they were close. Nevertheless, tragedy struck. Hmm, yes, I see. I'm going to cross-examine the witness, Mr. Wright. Dustin and Maggie, cross-examination. Officer Prince and Officer Bird been going out for a half a year. Nothing wrong. Something like they're even talking about marriage. Ooh, marriage! There we go, that looks a little better. Oh well, nothing wrong. Today, this just happened to be the victim's birthday, sir. The day of the incident? You mean September 6th? Yeah. The victim, Officer Prince, had just gone off duty at 5.30 p.m. that day. And since Maggie's night shift hadn't started yet, they went to the park for a bit. Oh, I remember when I was young and in love. Oh, it was a jolly time. That's great, Your Honor. I'm glad you're such a cheerful old man. Maggie, I mean Officer Bird, had gotten Officer Prince a present. You seem to know a lot about the defendant. Well, that's because uh, I'm her boss, and I've got to watch out for my subordinates. But even what she, but even what she was going to give as a present, isn't that a bit too far? Hey, pal, watch what you say. I know everything that happens under me. If someone so as much scratches their I really don't need to know that much. 
Commissioner Wright, please refrain from badgering with the witness. I agree. Even if this witness has a crush on the defendant, that should not be the point of discussion at this time. Whoa, wait a second. Why are we talking about this? It's all your fault, pal. You're guilty. Guilty, guilty. I should have you arrested. I think the good detective is about done here. Well, something she got over two months ago. Over two months ago? Yep, she's a very considerate woman, pal. So, what was his birthday present? She got him a glove. A single glove? Why would she only give him one? Um, actually, Your Honor, the glove. The glove in question is a baseball glove. Oh, I see, a baseball glove. Officer Prince was a huge baseball fan. A baseball glove. Whoa, my bad. Plus further, because we have the option to, and I'm gonna, because that's just what defense attorneys do. Just now, I believe you said that said that the present was something she got over two months ago. Yeah. Are you saying she went out and bought the glove over two months ago? Nah, nothing like that, pal. Then what is it like? She ordered it. It was custom made. Custom made? The glove was custom made? Yep. That's what I said. Hmm. So the glove was custom made. Your Honor, I really don't see how this glove is related to this case. Yes, it would seem that there is little relevance. What do you think, Mr. Wright? Do you think the glove is really relevant to this case? Of course it's relevant. We're bluffing, even if we have to. I don't know where this will lead me, but... Of course it is relevant. That glove is the key to this whole case. Yes, bluffing to the max. See, told you, bluff. Now this is the Mr. Wright I know. I'm so happy you're back, sir. I was wondering how long it'd take. This is great! Hmm, pressing people. It feels like I've done this before. If I used to do this to squeeze information from the most tight of keepers. Smirk! Very well. If you are that convinced, let's hear some ma about this matter. Actually, I brought the glove with me today. And? Why didn't you say so earlier? Hurry and show the glove to this court. Well, I didn't think it had anything to do with this case. Anyway, this is it, sir. It's, uh, rather yellow, isn't it? Baseball glove added to the court record. Officer Prince really liked the color yellow. And that's why you had to special order it. Yep, that's right. And one other. That and one other reason. I think this court has heard enough. It is clear that the victim and the defendant were involved with each other. Yes, that's correct, Your Honor. Now, if that is true, what brings up the question? Why is Maggie really written? Was the name Maggie really written by the victim? I see your point, Your Honor. You have to come through. Please tell the court a little more about the name on the ground. Yes, sir. Writing on the ground. We first looked into the handwriting, sir. Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. Next, we checked the victim's pointer finger. We found that there was sand trapped into the victim's fingernail. There was also scratches on the skin that were caused by him riding on the ground. From this, we could confirm that the victim of his name with his right hand. Hmm, yes, a perfectly logical conclusion. Now then, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Thank you, Your Honor. Writing on the ground, cross-examination. We first looked into the handwriting. Unfortunately, we couldn't confirm that it was the victim's handwriting. <clears throat> so in the end, you couldn't confirm it? Hey, don't look down on us! I told you, we're not a bunch of simpletons, pal. Everyone knows you can't find out everything you want with scientific investigation. I've never heard that before. Me either! Nor I. I never heard anything like that at the police academy, sir. Okay, so I made it up. Anyway. Next, we checked the victim's pointer finger. We found that there was sand trapped under the victim's fingernail. There was also scratches on the skin that were caused by him running on the ground. From this, we could confirm that the victim wrote his name with his right hand. Wait a minute. Let's present... 
to go to the baseball glove. It was custom made. That's a right... That's a right-handed glove. Look at it. Right hand. We fixed the camera because it takes forever to do that. I'm filming this sideways. Things I do to film. Okay, now we present it. Detective Gumshoe, take a look at this. That's the glove, right? Could you tell the court what's special about this glove? What's special? Um, never really thought about it, but, uh, it's really yellow. And that's about it. Yes, it's really yellow, but that's only one of its qualities. Huh? There was another reason why it's special. And what would that be? It's very simple. This glove is made for a left-handed person. <clears throat> left-handed. Why, you're absolutely right. This glove is made to be worn on the right hand. <clears throat> that is why it had to be custom made. I've never seen a bright yellow left-hander's glove for sale, have you? Well, um, no. So, detective, which hand did the victim use to write the name with again? That's easy. Look, it's obvious from this picture that it was his... Wait a sec. Don't forget that the victim was left-handed. Ah! That, that, that's, I mean, uh... Object! Overruled. Mr. Wright, I would like to know what your line of reasoning proves. <clears throat> There's only one conclusion that can be drawn. The left -handed per a left-handed person could not have written a message with his right hand. Therefore, the person who wrote name Maggie could not have been the victim. Order, order. When you think about that way, then yes. It is possible. Also, it is not possible that this name is written by the victim himself. Then that means Maggie is... No, no. It's not possible. Mr. Payne. Y yes, Your Honor. The evidence is the prosecution has presented to spell to prove the defendant's guilt. In fact, I believe that you have proven her to be innocent. No! All oh, right, you did it, Mr. Wright. Whew, I feel like I could breathe again. Smack. It seems that we have reached the conclusion. You did a fine job once again, Mr. Wright. Me, Your Honor? Oh, uh, well, thank you, sir. See, you got a compliment by the judge again. You're really good. And that's why you can't give up being a lawyer, sir. Are you joking? I'm more than ready to retire. Smack. Now then, I will announce my verdict. This court finds the defendant, Maggie Bird. No, not yet. I mean, please give me a few more minutes, Your Honor. We will find out why Prosecutor Payne wanted a few more minutes and all of a sudden just objected. But until then, we'll find out what happens next. And next time on Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Justice for All, we'll find out why Prosecutor Payne objected for a few more minutes.